Boeing is at its low price, $170.45. And Yahoo analysts estimate that it can move up to $220.75 in the next 12 months. Hey guys, generally I add on my watch list stocks that I find fundamentally sound and they're at their annual low price and those are the companies that I do analysis on well in this case I'm not adding Boeing to my watch list but I felt they would be significant to do the analysis on this one and give it to you guys since it recently dropped to its 52 week low so Boeing is at its low price $170.45 and Yahoo analysts estimate that it can move up to $220.75 in the next 12 months now they have an earnings date coming out in a few days, April 24th, and we know what an earnings date, or like I always say, an earnings date is like going to a casino. The earnings report can come out and it could be great, and the stock price can jump up dramatically, or it could come out and be bad, and the stock price can drop dramatically. So if you're not in for that roller coaster ride, you may want to wait until after the earnings report drops before deciding if you want to purchase that stock or not. But having said that, let's jump into the fundamentals for this company. But before we do that, just want to show you a couple of things related to the channel and first is that this stock comes from this week's stock winners it's a series that I put out on YouTube and one drops every week to let you know what fundamentally sound stocks are moving up from their annual low price you can find that in the Uncle Dwayne's watch list, a YouTube channel, and also from that this week's stock winners, one is picked for this month's option pick. Now there is also a this week's option pick, which is in the Patreon account that you can find by going to Uncle Dwayne's watch list the home page. But in any event, having said that, let's jump over to the analysis for this stock. Okay, so today we're looking into the Boeing company, ticker symbol BA. And the first thing that we should see about this company, now generally when I analyze companies, I'm giving good news. In the case of Boeing, unfortunately, I can't say I'm doing that. When I'm deciding whether I should consider buying a company or adding it to my watch list, the first thing I want to do is look at the earnings per share for the last five years. And I notice with the earnings per share, for the Boeing company in 2019 it was negative $1.12 in 2020 it was negative $20.88 remember that was the COVID lockdown year in 2021 it was negative $7.15 in 2022 
it was negative $8.30. And in 2023, it was negative $3.67. And for the current year, it's projected to be negative $3.67. What that tells me is that this company possibly hasn't made any money in the previous five years and they're not projected to make any money this year. We'll know that for sure when we look down at the income statement but that's what we're seeing so far but surprisingly the stock price is pretty decent it seems to be dropping but it's a pretty decent stock price for a company that hasn't made company money in five years now, in 2019, their low price was $302.11 and the high price for the stock $430.34. In 2020, the low price was $95.01. It really dropped. But the high price was $345.37. In 2021, the low price was $188.19. The high price was $269.19. In 2022, the low price was $115.86. The high price was $225.96. In 2023, the low price was $177.73. The high price was $264.27. Now notice, for the last five years, the low price was at 302 went down to 95 the COVID year, but the next one, 188 115 It's been dropping every year. It went to 177 Now, currently, I'm going to change this figure here. Currently, it's at a hundred and seventy dollars and twenty one cents. Right? That means already lower than the previous year again, a hundred and seventy seven dollars. And let's look at the high price from four thirty three forty five two sixty nine two twenty five. Went up to 264 this last year. But now, Yahoo is projecting you can go to 200 and actually, let me change that as well. Yahoo is projecting it can go up to $220.75, which is a drop from the last year. So even though the stock price is decent, from year to year with the skip of a couple of years, it's been dropping. Not a healthy signal. Now, Boeing comes out with an earnings report on April 24th and like you said an earnings report it's like going to a casino it can come out good and you can make a lot of money it can come out bad you can lose a lot of money 
but just be aware of that. If you're not in for that kind of ride, you may want to wait until the earnings report drops before purchasing anything. So, if I look at the price this stock is currently at, $170, and where Yahoo analysts speculate it can move up to, 220 I would say that would make it worth taking the chance on it. But if I look at all the fundamentals on this stock, and they haven't made money in five years, those would be serious strikes against putting money into the stock. But now let's jump down to the income statement. And in 2019, this company made seventy six billion five hundred and fifty nine million. Of that, they retained six hundred negative six hundred and thirty six million. That was a zero point eighty three percent loss. In twenty twenty they made fifty-eight billion one hundred and fifty-eight million less than COVID year. They retained well they didn't retain anything. They came out negative eleven billion eight hundred and seventy-three million. That is a twenty point forty two percent loss. In twenty twenty one they made sixty two billion two hundred and eighty six million. Now we know twenty nineteen they made seventy six billion. Twenty twenty was COVID lockdown year. But in twenty twenty one they should have been able to come back. They actually made less. And they retained four billion two hundred and two million. That was well they didn't retain. They took a loss of four billion two hundred and two million. That was a six point seven five percent loss. In twenty twenty two they went up a little. Sixty six billion six hundred and eight million. They took a loss of four billion nine hundred and thirty five million. That's a seven point four one percent loss. And in 2023, they made 77 billion 794 million. They made a little more that year. They took a loss of two billion 222 million. That's a 2.86 percent loss. So this company is bleeding money, and they're making money. But after they pay their expenses, they're walking away with losses. Let's, I actually can't depend on the return on equity because the shareholder equity for all five years are negative. And the debt to equity is so crazy that I'm not going to rely on these numbers for the return to equity. But if I look at the balance sheet, Current assets exceed current liabilities. But if I look at total assets and total liabilities, their debts are higher than their assets for all five years if I look at total assets and total liabilities. 
definitely a no-no for me. Now, I see dividends paid in two of the last five years. Four billion, six hundred and thirty million worth in 2019. One billion, one hundred and fifty-eight million worth in 2020. Now, we know when it comes to stock, we love to see a company buying back shares of stock. We hate to see a company selling more shares of stock. This company bought back 2,593,000,000 worth in 2019. But in 2020, they sold 36 million worth. 2021, they sold 42 million worth. 2022, they sold 50 million worth. And 2023, they sold 45 million worth. And if I come down to free cash flow, I see why the dividend, dividends are generally paid from the free cash flow. And if I look to the free cash flow, it was actually negative for the first three years, negative three million nine hundred and forty six million three billion nine hundred and forty six million twenty nineteen negative nineteen billion four hundred and seventeen million in twenty twenty and negative three billion eight hundred and sixty seven million in twenty twenty one. Now, in 2022, they were positive 2,325,000,000. And in 2023, they were positive 4,460,000,000. And I'm wondering where that free cash flow came from because they didn't make any money from that income in all five years. But in any event, this company has a 1.53% beta. They're volatile. They're, they move a lot, which can be good or bad. But their book value is negative 28.27%. I have a video on the channel about why I don't trust book value. I usually don't put a lot in book value, except for in one situation when book value is negative. For this company, book value is negative means they may be using their shares of stock like an ATM machine. They have 613.16 million shares of outstanding stock. And of that, those shares, 0.8% are owned by insiders and those who work in the company or involved with the company. And those who work in the company are involved with the company. And 65.70% are owned by institutions, that large banks, etc. Now, Mr. David L. Calhoun, born 1958 is the president, CEO, and director. And Boeing is in the aerospace and defense industry. 
industrial sector. So that's it for the analysis on this stock, guys. Look forward to speaking to you in the next video. Have a great day.